Okay, so when we look at graphing these functions, we are going to do the same things as we did, uh, as we would have done in pre-calc 12. I want to find zeros, vertical asymptotes, slant asymptotes. So I'm going to first start off with my zeros, which means I need to factor my numerator. I'm just going to do a quick factoring job here. So it's 3x squared, 2, that diagonal product is 6x squared. I know that that has to add to 5, so I'm going to go 3x. 2x, so that's going to be 3x here, plus 2, the common factor vertically is going to be x, and that has to be 1. Okay, so my when I factor it, my f of x is equal to 3x plus 2, x plus 1, all over x minus 4. Okay, so I have my zeros are going to be at x equals negative 2 thirds, and negative 1. Okay, my vertical asymptote, oops, my vertical asymptote is going to be at x equals positive 4. Maybe I'll draw a vertical asymptote like that. Okay, that's positive 4. Okay, my slant asymptote I need to generate from my division statement. Okay, so when I divide this, my f of x is equal to, well, I'm going to just divide first. I'm going to divide x minus 4 into 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. The degree of the numerator is 1 higher than the denominator, so I should expect my asymptote to be a linear function. Okay, so I end up with uh, 3x plus 4. Okay, so this is going to be negative, this is going to be 17, I think that is. Okay, just double check. 3x squared okay, plus 2, so it's going to be plus 17. I'm going to get 17x minus 68, so I'm going to end up with positive 70. Okay, so although I can the remainder is really not that useful. The positive and negative actually tells us something about the remainder, which I'll allude to later. I'll show you later. So there's my there's my linear function. Okay, so I'm gonna have to scale my axes here. So I've got a a horizontal a slant asymptote with slope of three, let's say 17 somewhere around here. So I'm gonna have uh, so let's see yeah, let's say that's about right. Okay, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. There's there's my y y intercept, sorry, the y intercept of the asymptote. Okay, I can get the I should I can also get the y intercept of the graph. So y intercept can be found by just plugging in x is 0, so I get 0, 0, 2 divided by negative 4, or negative 1 half. So I have a vertical asymptote, I've got my slant asymptote, I've got these three coordinates which I can put on my graph. Uh, maybe I'll just put them in real quick, so it's going to be points very close together here, and a point here. Okay, so it's going to be some graph that kind of looks like that, goes through those points, and then we should have another point, another a section up here like that. So I'm just going to sketch to you what that kind of looks like. Okay, but now what we're going to add on now, so that's what we would on pre-calc 12. What we're adding on then is we're going to use the derivative. And we're going to use the derivative to find max and min points. So we're going to find it to find those, ver those vertices and we're going to show a slope chart. For this one here, we're not going to bother doing the second derivative because it gets a little bit too complicated for now. But let's differentiate this to find the first derivative. Okay, so the first derivative, I'm going to differentiate the numerator and multiply it with the denominator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator, which is 1. Okay, simplifying this, I need to expand, so I'm going to get 6x squared minus 24 plus 5x minus 20 minus 3x squared 
minus 5x minus 2. When I multiply that all out. Okay, and then simplifying this, I'm going to end up with 3x squared minus 22x minus, uh, is that going to be minus, minus 20? It looks like minus 22. Okay, just double check my math here. So I get 24, negative 24x plus 5 is minus 19. Here I'm going to get, well, that's 24x, isn't it? So it's going to be 19 minus 5, which is negative 24x, all over x minus 4 squared. So there's my derivative. Now, to 